Keeping an eye on politics this evening, we are now into the second week of the legislative session. Legislation proposing sweeping changes to Florida's libel and defamation law will be heard in committee Tuesday morning. A House Bill 991 was filed back on February 21st. And investigates Jennifer Titus has been digging into this bill. If passed, it could have implications not just for media outlets, but also for anyone posting online. That's what it looked like. I talked with a law professor today who told me this bill isn't pro-Democrat or pro-Republican. He says it's anti-speech. House Bill 991 would create a presumption that a statement by an anonymous source is presumptively false for purposes of a defamation. It also goes on to talk about publishing untrue allegations that the plaintiff has discriminated against another person or group because of their race, sex, sexual orientation or gender identity constitutes defamation per se. Some say House Bill 991 would make it easier for the little guy to go after media companies reporting false information. Santa Clara University School of Law professor Eric Goldman says it would also make it easier for the little guy to be sued as well. This is purely a law that would benefit the wealthy and the powerful, and they are routinely bringing lawsuits or alleging lawsuits um, in order to suppress speech they don't like. We actually have a name for it. It's called SLAPS. This law actually would undermine Florida's anti-SLAP law, making it easier for the privilege to assert lawsuits. And it would uh, go much further in advancing the, the ability of uh, the wealthy and the privileged to bring lawsuits to control how people talk about them. To read the full language of the bill and a similar bill filed in the Senate, you can head over to 10tampabay.com. Again, the bill will be heard at its first House committee tomorrow morning. Jennifer Titus, 10 Investigate. The sponsor of the bill is Republican State Rep Representative Alex Andrade. He says the bill is a sincere attempt to try and fix the problems that exist in this type of law. And this bill would make it easier for someone who's actually been harmed by a defamatory statement to pursue justice in Florida courts. We will let you know what happens in the committee tomorrow.